Is that Bing? Is he dead? Who did this? I did! Don't move! Don't move. Who the hell are you? Banks killed Morgan. And I want the Batman. Tell your men to stand now. He's mine. I live and breathe for Batman. Talk. Your boy Ra's al Ghul brought me back. The Lazarus pits clouded your already delusional mind. You're nothing. Outdated. Obsolete. And you're just a coward that kills cops for attention. And I don't have time for this. By any means necessary. It's on now. Get it? Let's see how well it does against Amazonian steel. Let's go! train system? I did it for the less fortunate. Wow, Dad. You're amazing. Nice try! <laughs> did you finally get it? My suit can't be weakened! I didn't need to weaken the suit. Just weaken the man in the suit. Killing Bane was a mistake and revealed your true strength. That's why I lace my batteries with Scarecrow's fear gas and poison ivy's toxins. No! Uh. Ow! Uh. This kid! I'll kill you! Uh. I had to distract you long enough for you to feel the effects. Uh. 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 Your respiratory system is shutting down. Your nervous system is overwhelmed. You're going into cardiac arrest. But that's not what's gonna kill you. Sometimes the light at the end of the tunnel leads to hell. Wow, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was made from a lot of uh, blood, sweat, tears, hard work, and love for the character. And love, a whole lot of love. And also from you guys, because we have opened up a Patreon, which you guys have been able to support and contribute to, which we're super thankful of that. One of the things that makes me most excited about the Patreon is fan involvement. We love being involved with you guys as much as possible. So with the 8x10s, with the Skype calls, with the customized um, 
uh, voice recordings. There's so much, it's almost unlimited how much that we can be involved in your lives as well as you involved in our productions. Yeah, there's so many awesome different tiers and rewards available on Patreon. We have signed 8x10s, we have exclusive Polaroids from set, we have all our content available, even some stuff that's not even online. We have access to the full versions of our podcast, behind the scenes, ability to Skype with us, all kinds of cool stuff on there, aside from just contributing for the ability for us to make the beat towns. One of the other things I like about Patreon is we all say that it's by the fans for the fans and this is closing that gap and now you are an active part in what we're doing and it's like a club, like a clubhouse. Well if you guys want to join the club be sure and click the link in the description box or go to patreon.com slash bat in the sun and support and contribute there. But now let's send it over to our friends who just opened up a new Collector's Paradise store in North Hollywood and check out the reaction show. Hey everyone, welcome to the Superpower Beatdown Reaction. My name is Damien Buer. I'm Amanda Lynn. Damien Poitier. And we are here to discuss this awesome, awesome episode, which, by the way, is our 25th episode. We are here at Collector's Paradise in their brand new store in North Hollywood. Want to thank everybody for coming out to this one. And for our 25th episode, we got to fight Killmonger versus Flashpoint Batman. Now, the way this works is you vote, we fight. We tallied the votes, and believe it or not, the final tally was 72% for Batman Flashpoint and 28% for Killmonger. Can you guys Ooh. believe this one? Yeah, that was, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty decisive vote. Huge! The yeah. fans spoke and yeah. Batman listened! I gotta say, I think the fans got it pretty right. I am always Team Batman, and especially Flashpoint Batman. He is pretty badass. He's about efficiency. He's like, I gotta stop this problem as quickly and efficiently as possible. And, yeah. and so he's gonna go guns. Guns a blaze. Other things he mm -hmm. used in the show, you know, just whatever he can to make it mm -hmm. so that the problem is solved immediately. Now, Killmonger has, uh, you know, he's got military training, which, which gives him an advantage. He's younger. He's got the heart shaped bird, which means he's stronger. Yes. You know, he's got so, the vibranium yeah, suit. Yeah, he's got a vibranium mm -hmm. suit. So, in terms of actually, like, Battle versus battle, he's got a lot of advantages over Flashpoint Batman here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Batman's gonna have to be very, very canny in order to fight such a superior opponent. You would think, but Thomas Wayne still does have the genius level intellect, so he's bringing a lot to the table too. Not only does he have his fighting style and his own bat suit, but as we saw in the episode, he also has all of his backup. He has his ship, he's got his sword, he's got his bombs. He's prepared for this, which, as is always the case with Batman, is what really puts him over the top. So as far as tactical advantages in, this, in, the, uh, in the fight, I want to say Batman really took it to the next level and, and, and proclaimed in the Flashpoint series, Cyborg even says that Thomas Wayne is the best tactical mind in the entire world for, as, for that for, for that for the universe. As my father always said, age and treachery will defeat youth and skill any time. So and this, this, this played out well here where you saw Killmonger was really doing a more of a straightforward, I'm just going to take you out mm -hmm. situation. Whereas Batman's like, okay, I can take you out. Strike the, traditional means. Yeah, again, the strength, so and skill, yeah. right. His strength and skill of being able to take the gun away from him, in, in, uh, but then even take the sword away from him, right. the Amazonian steel, yeah. which I know is something that really you wanted to bring up. Right. Yeah. I was I was wondering that. Now I really want to know. Amazonian steel versus vibranium. What do you think? Magic versus, versus science. I love that, how we could see the way the sword was interacting with the nanotechnology, too, when yeah. he would take a hit and the, and the suit would the spark start to yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, restructure itself. But, yeah. and it also, you know, what kind of technology being what it is, it was able to actually sustain it, stay together, but it did sustain some damage. I, I was thinking that it was really cool how Thomas knew at the very beginning that he had to keep Killmonger talking a little bit, right. so that he'd be able to get those toxins in through yeah. the skin before the panther mask came on. Right. And which even goes into saying how much of a, of a science, a scientific mind that, that Thomas Wayne has, right. because he didn't even know that it was going to affect him with the, with the, with the herb that affects the, the well parent, like you said you know you killed bane you know and i look at bane and i'm like as soon as he sees a dead bane on the ground he's like i can't mess with this dude exactly yeah. and he's like and we got some open skin here let's just handle that real quick and then we'll get you know yeah. and then keep him busy long enough for the toxin to work so the, the strategy was masterful masterfully planned and, and put together well on the spot like you said greatest tactician 
And my so, favorite thing about Batman, it just transfers over to Thomas, is like, I know pain. And I'm going to introduce you to some pain. Right. But then I'm going to show you just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. And then just even more, it's just, right. I'm going to I'm gonna kill you. But I'm not just going to kill you, I'm going to run your head over a train. Yeah. Like, like, the, 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 and and I, I like the train, you know, the train being such a big part of the, of the mm -hmm. uh, with the Batman Begins and built the trains and the, and the, and and the, the yeah, Wayne Mythos. And little Bruce in there. Yeah. So that, I like that he brought it into, I'm going to use my pain to kill you. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Like, he took it above and beyond. If, yeah. if it had been in a ring, we know that Killmonger would have taken it, but that Batman's got his stuff. He, he had his ship waiting right outside, right. immediately ready for that moment. That's, that's what you're up against with that kind of thing. You're definitely dealing with a case where Killmonger underestimated his foe. You know, he's like, I have superior tech, I'm younger, stronger, faster, Better fighter. I'm gonna go in and kill him. Yeah. And that's as, as yeah. you would do. You yeah. Know? And, yeah. Did, and as evidence, when uh, Batman was distracted by his uh, alcohol-induced uh, fugue state, right, the train, his psychological thinking, problems getting the best the, of him as usual. Exactly. As soon as he gets distracted, Killmonger just oh, he just wails him. Yeah, no, he, he just, takes his guns. He takes the sword. He yeah. I was expecting armor-piercing bullets, something to go through the actual. Wouldn't have done anything. Suit. You can't you, you vibrate. Does, what, what kind of armor-piercing bullets are you gonna have, especially on the fly? that are going to get through Vibranium. In Gotham. He was shooting him in the face. <laughs> oh, and no, Phil Michael was like, oh, that was, yeah. I can but again, that was more of a distraction. Right. Than anything else. Yeah. And then the gun caught a fight going on into that really just, it just got to the point of just wearing him down, keeping right. his keep heart him busy, going, keep his heart getting, getting him revved up to through his body. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So I think this is one of the only ways that Batman would have been able to do that. Is the, that was, it was, a, it was very well uh, put together that Batman, like I said, ended the fight before it even began. Yeah. Because there's no other way he would have been able to defeat him. No. So without a doubt, in my heart, I think the fans got it right this time. What do you say? I think so. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Awesome. Begrudgingly, but I'm going to go with it. Awesome. Dude. All right, so we're going to tip our hats to all of you, and we want to thank you for being a part of this Superpower Beatdown. We are announcing our next upcoming battle. What's happening next? <gasps> Black Canary versus... Black Widow. Nice. Yes! Finally. Finally. Be sure to go to patreon.com forward slash bat the sun to vote to see who's going to win in the next beatdown. Black Canary or Black Widow. With that, I'm Damian Beer. You can find me on all socials as the comic book nerd. I'm Amanda Lynn, and you can find me online as at real Amanda Lynn. Damian Poitier, you can find me everywhere at Damian Poitier. We'd like to thank Collector's Paradise at their brand new store here in North Hollywood, and want to thank you. Be sure to get out there and vote.